All right, it is six o'clock and I will call the 20th regular common council meeting to order. Uh, will the clerk please state the quote of the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The most powerful leadership tool you have is your own personal example. All right, thank you. Um, would the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Salazar? Here. Alderperson Walton? Here. Alderperson Feldy? Here. Alderperson Ackley? Excused. Alderperson Decker? Here. Alderperson Ferrella? Here. Alderperson Laster? Excused. Alderperson Svaglio? Present. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Here. Alderperson Mitchell? Here. There are eight present. Thank you. For those in attendance, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you, everybody. Uh, first item number three is approval of the minutes from our January 4th meeting. Older person, Feldy. I move to approve the minutes. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Minutes are approved. Anyone for public forum today, clerk? There is no one this evening. All right. Mayor's announcements. Um, coming up, uh, the Sheboygan County Housing Coalition will be hosting several town hall meetings in the next coming weeks. The first of the series will be on January 20th. Check out the Housing Coalition's Facebook page or the city's January newsletter for more information and to register. This is a great way to get connected with the community and stay in the know with everything related to housing in the community. Coming on up, uh, Lakeshore Cap will be having their biannual point in time homeless count on January 26th and 27th. The point in time count is conducted to help identify services needed in our community in order to best help those without housing. Um, twice per year, dedicated community members volunteer and search throughout the counties for individuals who are unsheltered in an effort to connect those individuals to resources. Volunteers are needed for shifts between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Obviously, training will be provided. Contact Lakeshore Cap um, if you're interested in volunteering. <coughs> also, the Redevelopment Authority of the City of Sheboygan is seeking a unique year-round destination concept to redevelop the former J.P. Marine site. Proposals are being accepted to either lease or purchase this prime real estate parcel located at 1511 and 1517 North Commerce Street. The site offers a unique opportunity to create and innovate a sustainable development immediately adjacent to the riverfront. Contact our planning department if you have any questions. Also a friendly reminder that DPW, or our Public Works Department, will be collecting Christmas trees until now, until the end of January. So if you have any live trees or dead trees, um, get them out to the curb um, by the end of the month. Additionally, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, today we celebrate this national holiday to honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, who was a tireless fighter for civil rights. We honor Dr. King's legacy and reflect on all the progress that we've made in our society and recognize that we still have so much more work to do to become a more just society. So that's all I have for announcements today. So we'll jump uh, into items number seven through nine, the consent agenda, Alderperson Feldy. I move to receive and file all ROs and receive all RCs and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Second. It's been a motion second. Any discussion on the Thank consent you. agenda? Seeing no questions on the consent agenda, uh, this is a roll call vote, so please refer to your muni code. Well, now I got kicked out. Eight eyes. Great, that's approved. Item number 10 is RO number 1192122 by the city administrator submitting an updated uh, regarding the debt services account required by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for the city's section 108 loan for renovations for the senior center. Alderperson Feldy. I move to receive and file the RO. 
second. There's been a motion second. Any discussion on this item? Alder Walton? Yeah, just a quick question. Um, why was the requirement changed from 350,000 to 415,000? Was this something that we knew or that uh, housing and urban development uh, informed us later on? All right, I'll hand it over to Director Palachek. Uh, what I would say is we did not know it. Um, they told us the number originally 350 and when we were getting down to the nitty gritty of filing all the final paperwork, then they said 415,000. So we thought we were at the uh, third hole and we were ready to get it done. So we just moved forward with it. Um, and that's why it's coming back to you after the fact, but the, all the paperwork has been submitted and we're hoping to get a, our first wire transfer next week. So they, HUD is the one that imposed the higher amount. Additional comments on this item? <clears throat> Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Eight eyes. It's approved. Items 11 and 12 will lay over. Items 13 through 15 will be referred to the licensing hearings and public safety committee. Jumping down to resolutions, item 16, resolution number 123, 21, 22 by older persons Feldy and Flicky Paneski ratifying retaining outside legal counsel in the matter of Patrick A. Gillette, a formal complaint filed with the city of Sheboygan police and fire commissioners. Um, older person Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I ask to suspend the rules. Any objection to suspending? Seeing none, please proceed with the motion. I move to adopt the resolution. Is there a second? Second. There's been a motion second. Any discussion on this item? Uh, Alder Person Savalio. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can we have a little bit of background on this, please? City Attorney, you want to take that one? Yeah, so um, we are hiring outside counsel because uh, our office represents the Police and Fire Commission. Uh, and when there is a complaint that involves uh, police officers in the line of duty or, you know, other fire, fire department officers would, would be involved in that as well. Uh, we do have the duty to find them legal counsel, to provide them legal counsel as it relates to their uh, what they've done in the line of duty, and so we have uh, done that. Uh, we needed to get that going uh, rather quickly, so we did hire outside counsel to do that, and that's uh, Attorney Belkner, who does that kind of work for us on a regular basis. Thank you. Alder Person Perella. Can the complaint be disclosed at this time? Uh, yeah, the, the complaint relates to... Um, he disagrees with the way the police handled an investigation, basically. I mean, I can go into more if you want, but uh, if you're looking for more. So it's an investigation that the, the police department was conducting, and, and this individual is not in agreement with that, but it is not something related to the police officer himself the way that the police officer conducted himself? Well, the complainant believes that the officers involved should have charged crimes. The determination of the police department was that no crime was committed. Okay, thank you, it's enough for me. Any additional questions on this item? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Alder Prawl.
Eight ayes. All right, that's approved. Number 17, RO number 124, 21, 22, by older persons Feldy and Flicky Paneski, ratifying and retaining outside legal counsel in the matter of Chad Shelton, formal complaint filed with the City of Sheboygan Board of Police and Fire Commissioners. Alder Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I ask to suspend the rules. Any objection to suspending? I move to adopt the resolution. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any discussion on the side of Alder Perella? I have the same question. I, I would like to know if the complaint is about the policeman's, um, the police officer's behavior or something specific to the police officer in question. So this one, um, I, generally the answer is yes, that he, uh, Mr. Shelton has made sort of a scattershot complaint, uh, complaining about the way he feels he's been treated by the police department over the past three decades or so, uh, and has named a large number of officers. Uh, there was an investigation, the police department uh, uh, in that investigation uh, exonerated all of the officers involved, and now this is his hearing before the Police and Fire Commission on his appeal of that. Thank you. Additional comments on this item? Uh, police Chief? I would just point out that some of the allegations that he's made um, concern matters that have come in front of committees um, of this council that the council um, upheld the actions of the police department. And he appealed those um, matters also to the circuit court and the circuit court upheld those. Thank you, Chief Domagoski. Additional comments, questions? All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Eight ayes. It's approved. Item 18 will be referred to the Licensing Hearing and Public Safety Committee. Next, we'll do reports of committee. RC number 19, RC number 202-2122 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred direct referral resolution number 122-2122 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Flicky Paneski, authorizing the purchasing agent to issue a purchase order for the purchase of the new Pierce Manufacturing rescue engine for the Sheboygan Fire Department. Alder Person Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the IRC and adapt the resolution. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Eight ayes. That's approved. All right, number 20 will be referred to the Public Works Committee, and next is a contemplated closed session. Alder Person Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I move to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in section 19.851E, Wisconsin Steps, work competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session for the purpose of negotiating with one or more property owners regarding the potential purchase of land on the city's southern border for residential housing. Second. There's been a motion and second to go into closed session. This is a roll call vote. Please refer to your Mooney code. Eight eyes. All right, and those that are watching, this will conclude our council meeting. Um, we'll be convening into closed session in a couple minutes here. So thank you. And we, we can stay here today. We gotta go. Here.